Hi everybody, I just wanted to go over some features of ICN3D that we practiced using last week that I think may be helpful for you in your upcoming project. So the first thing we did is to visualize AC2 receptor in pink and the spike protein, part of the spike protein in blue took a screenshot and then we discussed what kind of structure it is. We came to the conclusion that it's a quaternary structure because it has two different proteins present on the same image. Then we explored styles, proteins. So this is by default a ribbon structure which I like quite a lot because it shows the secondary structures of the protein. Very similar to it is a cylinder and plate. You could see the helixes as cylinders and arrows as plates. Easy to see the secondary structures. But then we have alpha trace. Those are the primary structure of the protein you could see how this um, NCC bond um, chain bends and the angles it creates. Um, then we have the lines, lines visualizing all the bones created in the protein, stable bones. Um, looks very hairy. Um, ball and stick is a good one if you want to see the interaction between specific molecules. So we'll refer to it a little later. And same goes to the atom. Oh, spheres. So we're still uh, on the spheres. Spheres, my understanding of the spheres, they show how the outside of the protein may look like and it helps to visualize interesting cavities and just overall shape of the protein. It's kind of nice. Um, so to do further in the assignment, it suggests to use a sphere option to visualize as a sty styles, but I will switch to the uh, ribbon structure for that, and we'll take a look at the um, color spectrum. I really liked um, this feature. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, as you could see here, the spectrum is a rainbow. It starts with purple, so you can easily locate the end of the protein. This is the um, end terminal of the AC2 receptor, and follow it up to its C terminal, yellow, and then the yellow color translates into the end terminal of the spike protein and ends up on red arrow here, which is an C terminal of the spike protein. So this color helps you to keep track of the folding of the protein, three dimensional folding. Secondary structures. Help you to see what kind of secondary structures are present in each protein. For example, you could easily spot that the spike protein only has sheets and the receptor protein has both sheets and helixes. Charge is an interesting feature if you want to see negative and positive charges and how they're distributed. In the proteins and those are interesting when you look at the interactions um, and fo folding patterns. 
another option here is Aram. So Aram will help us visualize uh, specific molecules and how they interact, which we will also use later. Um, st the step six of assignment uh, asks you to locate N terminus and C terminus of both polypeptides. So I will actually go back to my spectrum because I like it. So in the spectrum, it's easy to spot the terminal ends, and what you can do, you just can hover your mouse over it and compare the numbers associated with each end to figure out which one is N terminus and which one is C terminus. Otherwise, you can go to details and just literally highlight amino acids. So I highlighted N terminus of the um, AC receptor, AC2 receptor, and you could see it highlighted right here. So you can uh, now see that the N terminal st starts with a purple color. Same way, you can scroll down the end of the protein and highlight a couple of letters on its C terminal. As you could see, they got highlighted in here. That that's a quick way to spot it. Um, right now, since I selected a couple of them, I have the selection turned on. So if I want to des deselect, I'll click on this all atoms to deselect and move into the next step, step nine, where we visualize certain amino acids. Uh, one of them is D30 in the pink one or is wipe myself out of here so, uh, we will select d30 and you could see it's got highlighted here with yellow and the second one we want to visualize is k417 on the spike 417 Now I'm going to go to proteins. Um, bow and stick. And right now I'm just, uh, you see my selection is on, so I will be only working on the editing the selected items. So you could see bow and stick appear side chains here. And I do want to turn on the color atom so my atoms are visible here as you could see another interesting um, thing you could do here if you feel like a lot of um, stuff is on your way even though I I have a feeling I could see it well for myself but if I just want to visualize two molecules without anything else in front or behind it, I can say view only selection. I would have to probably zoom out a little bit. And I can only see my two amino acids interacting. Uh, I'll probably leave it for now just like this. And I will go to the next step of analysis. Um, age bonds and interactions and I select first set is the receptor second set is a spike protein and I want to see focus on um, ionic salt bridges ionic bonds and hydrogen um, hydrogen bonds and see the 3d interactions of that so as you can see, I was able to visualize um, the bond in between those two molecules. And if I want to see that it's in context one more time, I would go to view full structure again. It might take me some time to locate my molecules and zoom in. 
but here they are interacting. You can find the best spots to take a screenshot and that will be your screenshot right here. If you want to visualize any other protein, um, you could use um, this database to just find any molecules you can think of. By category, I just clicked by category and went into drugs in the brain and I picked opioid receptor sounds interesting and I would select this PDB code and use it right here to see this opioid receptor in 3D dimension I do like it as a spectrum so you could see based on those colors that's my opioid receptor is made from Two, uh, two proteins, identical proteins, binded together. And this is my protein I wanted to share with you today. Hope it helps.